Good morning, folks. Something shared in last night's evening news. This is mostly salt blowing across the land just north of Buenos Aires. Top story today is a possible nova visible from Earth for the first time in years. Just days ago on the 14th, a Japanese amateur astronomer captured the magnitude 6 flash and it continues to brighten into the 4 range now. Follow the link to find it in the sky. This buoy west of Sumatra is becoming a bit more concerning. They might have one broken buoy, or this area might be on the precipice of a catastrophic thrust. The 6.5 in New Zealand was followed by a general uptick northwest in this region. Australia eyeing strong winds across the south. It did get dicey in isolated pockets there yesterday. The low cresting Europe is not moving at a tremendous clip, expected to keep storms relatively still for the entire weekend as the convergence just isn't going to move much. Look at all that energy rushing to Canada. Expect major rain and severe weather north of the border today, while the southeast is also on continued flood watch due to the deluge from a developing gulf low. Of course, we are still watching air and out in the Atlantic, but it's not a terrible concern right now. Solar flares, still not making it up to M range. And the most baffling aspect of that is the delta spot entering the southwestern quadrant. The northern aspect of that sunspot group sees bipolarity confined to umbras nearly touching within the same penumbral region. That should be popping harder. Perhaps the trailing incomers can change the game, but no major moves from them yet. A solar wind telemetry shows little variation in high speed and around average density. The longer SOHO timescales reveals the current coronal hole stream as density wanes from an initial front leading spike preceding the speedier particles. With density falling, the disturbance is fading as well and we are on the verge of an electron storm. Sun also decided to throw a fit last night. Without major flaring, she flung ejecta in every direction but ours. A major plasma filament on the northeastern limb let loose, along with two significant blasts from the backside visible via the stereo EU VI-195 images. The largest visible filament is now Earth-facing and has yet to show signs of instability. The primary magnetic connection to the Sun is now on the Earth-facing disk with eight points of magnetic subconnectivity on the massive coronal hole now exiting center disk and with the umbral field closing up behind it. Alas, closed or not, her solar wind stream is here and the next coronal hole is on the equator right behind her. The watch score is elevated at 7. Here's that massive plasma filament mentioned moments ago. Hope she stays put today. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.